I've had a very, very bad week this week, and one of the things to have uh, completely gone is my desktop PC computer. Um, it's broken, and it's broken beyond repair, uh, to be totally honest with you. That means, of course, that um, I'm at a loss when it comes to how to sort of uh, really... Um, get this edited and stuff because I do have uh, a a spare computer I know this sounds a bit bit strange but uh, my nan had a computer that she didn't want Um, and uh, it's it's very very basic Uh, it's more like an overhyped word processor it does have it's not quite as bad as the acorn computer but um, it is pretty bad and uh, it does have a version of Windows um, movie maker on it but I'm not sure looking at it it's not the same thing and I'm not sure how I'm going to get that to work so I do apologise uh, for that do you know the, uh, the the weeks the weeks really been ruined um, by the springboard project or by the fact that the two leads that I was following up um, have have been extinguished basically one of them was a long shot, anyway, uh, and whilst following that lead uh, for as long as possible, you know, opened up fantastic opportunities or a, a possibility of them in the future. Uh, I, <laughs> it's fair to say that um, that probably wasn't going to work out in the end. Um, the other uh, thing, the, the other lead that I was following up. Uh, I'm a bit surprised at, to be fair, because um, I had I- at least expected to get um, as far as the interview uh, for that particular um, uh, lead, and I didn't. And there is a very good reason why I didn't, uh, but I had hoped that we had passed the point where that was an issue. Um a long, long time ago, basically, uh, to put it mildly, I, I do honestly believe that somebody from my past is sabotaging uh, some of my uh, prospects, <laughs> to put it in a way that is quite clear, but also extremely vague. Um, the evidence I have for that is is, is that it um, has happened before knowingly, uh, and that... Um, there are certain inconsistencies um, <laughs> that just seem to be a little bit uh, a little bit too statistical for my liking. Um, so there we are. Things had changed, um, and I had hoped that uh, the person who has been responsible in the past for this, um, I had hoped that he would no longer be. Uh, uh, a problem, but it looks like that is not the case. Do you know, Springboard is interesting because it brings up a few questions which are as much to do with spirituality and being as they are to to do with anything uh, <clears throat> that they form part of in terms of project uh springboard in my future you know i'm not necessarily looking uh for um a job so much as uh a vocation i know that sounds silly um and i have to admit that i i i don't believe that everybody has a vocation Uh, i don't believe that everybody has a calling actually uh the reason I believe that callings exist in the first place, obviously, is because um, I'm Christian. <laughs> and that's one of the things that he's basically sort of laid out in scripture. Um, that people can be moved spiritually into occupations where they can perform a uh, function. Um, and usually that function is some kind of service, obviously, to uh, the divine and... Uh, the, you know, the 
the uh, the Christian ethic, I suppose. Um, but there is also a lot of people on this planet who, for want of a better word, seem to exist with n- little to no purpose beyond their own sort of little little world, and their little world comes and goes in, you know, a matter of 80, 90 years, if they're lucky, and and nothing happens that is frightfully um, important, uh, particularly big. There's There's no impact. They leave no impact. They seem to have, actually, very little in the way of uh, permanent reason for being, um, or anything like that. I know that sounds harsh, but it, it just seems to be obvious to me. Um, sure, I suppose you could say that um, many Christians do a perfect job in in roles that perhaps are, are just merely... Um, employment roles for them, uh, and their their reason for being lies outside of their their work, and possibly that's the case. But I do, um, I do think that callings are real, and I'll sort of tell you why. There has been one, one time in my entire life when I have felt. Uh, called, or shall I say I have felt that it was right that I uh, went through with a certain uh, prospect for the future, and that was after leaving university when I was um, going down to St Paul's Cathedral, and it was a lay a role, so I wasn't actually, you know, it wasn't to do with going into the church or anything like that, nothing nothing in the way of ministry, um, but a, uh, what you might like to sort of think of as a, as a secular role within a religious institution, I suppose. Um, and I did feel uh, that going there was the right thing to do, as in there was a right and a wrong, and you know, I I belonged there, I should have gone there, you know, I felt like, I suppose, I was called there. It's not an experience that I can really uh, say how it feels, except uh, that I would know instantaneously if I ever felt it about anything ever again. And it's funny, of course, because a lot of what went down at St Paul's during my time there was extremely negative. Um... And, uh, yes, I, I suppose I got some very, very good learning curves out of it. But I wouldn't say that it was um, a brilliant uh, thing um, in terms of uh, <laughs> my future, um, since it's basically had no impact, um, at least vocationally, uh, since I finished my uh, contract with them uh, two years after that. Um, so... But I know it exists, and it's hard for me to think that I've got this far. I'm, you know, coming up to, well, 33 will be the next birthday. And I I just don't feel like I've done anything that is uh, of much, much value. And the thing... So it means that, you know, if I was to, I don't know, die tomorrow... I might be hard-pressed to say, you know, what was the reason for me actually being here? Um, And what was the reason for my life? You know, what difference did it make? And obviously being a Christian, it's not necessarily a... It's not necessarily a a sort of power trip for me. I don't really want to be... um, anything important, uh, or anything spectacular, or, you know, um, something like that. No, what I want to do is something that I feel, personally, makes a difference, um, and contributes to, not a legacy, but contributes to something that I can say at the end of the day, look, I was part of that, um, and that's... uh, that's what my life has been about, you know. I just feel that I haven't 
you know, I haven't managed to achieve anything. I don't really understand why it appears that I'm left on the scrap heap uh, when I think, given the right opportunity, I could be useful in whatever plans, you know, he has. Um, and yes, I'm well aware uh, of the adage, you know thy place, <laughs> and the fact that, you know, if you are a Christian, it's not about where particularly you want to be or your plans it's more about his and that's fair enough and I do have to face the possibility that he wants me to be on the scrap heap and that's where he wants me and I'm exactly where he wants me and I just need to you know get on with it I have never been one to assume that things fall out of the sky even if you are uh, Christian or, or God fearing I've never never thought that um, which is why I have two options. Uh, I can cry about it, which believe me I have done. Um, or I can continue to make plans and continue to ask for guidance and hope that I am going in the right direction. People will know that I do have a past of being um, extremely negative. Uh, obviously I'm <laughs> depressive um, that sort of goes without saying and a lot of the things that I've said perhaps in this blog sound negative um, but I want to distinguish between being negative and being realistic um, and a lot of the friends I certainly have on Facebook um, I think are extremely positive in many regards and perhaps that's mainly because a lot of them are professional athletes who have to believe uh, in lots of ways that they will get to where they want to uh, and you know I am all into mind over matter and and uh, a positive mental attitude I really am but there are some things there are some limitations that you just have to recognise and it saves time as well there's no point in saying right, I believe my calling is to be a marathon runner um, because you should look at me uh, and you can't at the moment, I'm not pointing at me but you should look at me and there's no way that is ever going to happen that is just not a a valid uh, thing to, to to say or a thing to think or a thing to do and barking up trees like that wastes time you know i do have skills um i do have areas in which i think i'm quite good at even if i do say so myself um and obviously those are the areas to focus on so i defend my position of being realistic in uh, my negativity and also recognizing what i think are disappointments and this week particularly with that that springboard league lead um was a big disappointment it was a big disappointment but we're in may now and tomorrow's another week and you know springboard has another just over a year uh, to run before it's even overdue so you know it only takes one success um and uh everything would be sorted